Are you a teacher trying to manage your grade book while juggling technology? It can be a real challenge, especially when you want to keep track of your students' participation scores. Today, we're diving into how to connect a local HTML file with your Excel gradebook. I totally understand your frustration. You want to streamline your grading process, but technology can sometimes feel like it's working against you. You're not alone in this. Many educators face similar hurdles. Let's break down your specific situation. You mentioned that you have a .xlsm file in your Google Drive, and you're building a web app to manage student participation. You also realize that macros don't run on the Android version of Excel, which led you to switch to an HTML-based app. Was that the right decision? Let's explore this together. So what are the best ways to enable communication between your HTML app and the Excel file? The key here is understanding how to read from and write to the XLSM file effectively. We'll go through the steps to make this happen. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a pro tip that can make your app even more efficient and user-friendly. To begin, the user should set up a way to read and write to the Excel file. One effective method is to use a JavaScript library called Sheet.js. This library allows the user to manipulate Excel files directly from their web app. Next, the user needs to create a function that reads the existing participation scores from the Excel file. This function will load the file and extract the data from the specified cells. After reading the scores, the user should implement a function to update the participation marks. This function will take the student's name and the new score, then write it back to the Excel file. Finally, the user should ensure that the web app can handle file uploads and downloads. This will allow the user to upload the Excel file for reading and download it after updating the scores. Fun fact, did you know that the first spreadsheet program was called VisiCalc? It revolutionized how we manage data, and now you're taking it to the next level with your web app. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach suggests using Google Sheets instead of Excel for your app. This user believes that Google Sheets could meet your needs quickly and easily. They explain how web apps function, highlighting the roles of the client and server. The client requests resources while the server responds and Google Drive can serve as your storage. The user notes that a web client has limited access to the file system and may require authentication to write to Google Drive. They recommend using libraries to manage this connection. Finally, they mention the need to convert XLS data into a format that JavaScript can work with, suggesting tools that can convert .xls to JSON. That's it for that response. Let's explore another one. An alternative approach suggests not using Google Drive at all. Instead, consider using PHP with MySQL or Google Cloud Platform's App Engine. These options provide robust support for building apps that can be accessed from your Android device. If you prefer a DIY solution, the user recommends Spring Boot. This framework can manage its own database, website, and API, allowing seamless communication between your computer and phone. The user also highlights two key concerns, security to prevent unauthorized access and accessibility to ensure you can access your data on both your phone and computer. Finally, they encourage sharing your programming background to receive tailored recommendations. If you have questions, feel free to reach out. Here's that pro tip I promised. Regularly back up your XLSM file and test your app to ensure everything works smoothly. This will save you from potential headaches down the line. And there you have it. You now have a solid plan to connect your HTML app with your Excel gradebook. Remember, technology can be your ally in the classroom. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.